On April 29th, the VCU Board of Visitors made headlines by voting to raise in-state tuition by 24 percent, or about $1,700 for the upcoming academic year. Now, Insight's Derek Waller joins us in the studio. Derek, you got to sit down with President Michael Rao, and he said he knew the change was coming. That's right, Kyle. In my exclusive interview with the President, he talked about that huge funding cut from the General Assembly, how he's going to deal with that, and he also wants to uh, add more full-time faculty members, and there was no secret about how he planned to pay for it. And certainly, what are you going to do to answer the question about how you deal with one-third of your appropriation that will be completely gone in about a year? You've got to take that question on, deal with it boldly, and say, what are my sources of revenue in order to solve that problem? The primary source of revenue for me for student financial aid and for expanding the faculty will unfortunately be tuition. But it'll be tuition paid primarily by those who can afford to pay offset, of course, for the students who cannot afford to pay. Now, to put that in perspective, compare VCU's 24% increase to UVA and Virginia Tech. They were both up about 10% this year. Thank you, Derek. You can see more of Derek's exclusive interview with President Rao on our next edition of VCU Insight.